So when I first heard that we were going to be getting a student, re or st yeah, a student resource officer at school, my first thought was that I was like going to get arrested at school. I don't really know why, but like that was my first thought. But like after I met him, I immediately felt safe. His presence at school has just been so comforting and warm, and his smile makes, just makes me feel so welcomed. He's only been at Oli for about two years, but that's no doubt that he's a part of the Trojan family. So please help me welcome Deputy Mark McVeigh up to the podium for the 2018 faculty speaker. Wow, thank you. Mr. McVicker told me I had 37 seconds to speak, so keep chanting for the next 30 seconds. We're good to go. <laughs> thank you very much. And in all reality, even though Sarah wants you to think that she wasn't arrested, <laughs> I'm not allowed to divulge some of those details. So we'll, oh, yeah, sorry about that. This last weekend, I spent a lot of time trying to figure out how to speak to you guys and what to say and how to really honor your day. And so I went to the ocean. <laughs> and I thought if I went to the ocean that I could uh, spend some time rekindling my spirit and find out really what was it I was going to speak about. So I took some long walks on the beach. I ate some of the police officer's favorite pastries. <laughs> mm, donuts are good. Fritters are better, just saying. Drank some coffee on the deck, stood in the waves, and then I thought to myself, is this really my social media profile? Nope. Swipe left, disregard that. As I worked on some of the magnificent things to relay to you guys and the stories we, in we engaged in over these years, I leaned on our illustrious principal, Ms. Johnson. So I emailed her. Can I talk about, no. Can I talk, no. How about the new gym, no. Dang. So I thought to myself, well, maybe since she shares the same eyesight as me, born about the same decade as me, and the inability to text with both thumbs without looking, I said, ah. I'll get a few stories in by texting her. Yeah, not so lucky. Her and Mr. Wilson are actually on the ball. They said, no talking about crickets. I was like, dang it. Just can't get away with any stories. So I said, okay, well, I'll just leave it on my speech. And so I did for you, thank you. After all the failed attempts, I came up with some nonetheless. So here goes 25 minutes. For those sitting in the front row, I do spittle a lot, so um, if you get some clear out there, I'm sorry, just wipe it off. We're good to go. But I do stand up here and I think about the time I was sitting in the office recently and I saw this young student standing up, six period TA, or, P, or, yeah, T, or assistant, office assistant, and they want him to make an announcement over the PA system. He's like, oh, no, man, I can't do that. So, nonetheless, j Dog got up to the microphone, picked up the phone, and said, yo, 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 listen to this. Pardon the academic interruption. You got it, it's j Dog here with another bus change. <laughs> Actually, I just embellished that whole story. You guys, everybody really said it, and it was none of that, but nonetheless, I do feel a little bit like the way I thought he felt trying to j jump on that phone that day. When the assignment of school resource officer came available within the Central Kitsap School District, I did some serious soul searching. My soul searching began with what was I to expect from the students here at school and what could I truly offer them. My inner sheepdog spoke to me even stronger than ever and told me the right thing to do is to protect the flock. Protect them against the potential serious nastiness that is so prevalent in our society. Even though I was not sure how I would be perceived or reacted to, but now I know, according to Sarah's speech, a little scared of me for some reason. I'm not sure. They're just handcuffs, and many of you tried them on before. <laughs> I knew, though, that I could make a difference in some way. I knew for sure that that could happen. And just 
One person, just one person reminds me of the time I was eating my apple in the gym. Some of you guys might have been around for this. And a couple students got into a verbal dispute. And as I sat there, I ate my apple, deciding, well, should I get involved or should I let them go? And this student was obviously a little more clairvoyant than me, and they simply held out their hand and said, apple. <laughs> so I placed my apple in their hand and I got involved. They ate my apple. <laughs> I'm so shocked, but whatever. It was just an apple, right? I started my journey to Oli, and I embarrassingly admit I came with an incorrect belief of how you guys would treat me. How not only the students would treat me, but how the parents would treat me, how the staff would treat me. I didn't know. And that's my predisposed mindset of what I was to expect. And it was farthest from the truth. My new appointment to our school came with ridicule from my coworkers to include but not limited to kindergarten cop, babysitter, and et cetera. <laughs> I know, you guys are much older than that. Even though I knew most of it was this in jest, there was enough to make me question my decision. However, I fully embraced what I was going to tackle, and within my first week, I was humbled by so many of you. Some of you took time to warm up. The warming up came mostly after my linebacker drills in the hallway. My, slip, my first slip up of a potty word while I was performing a World Wrestling Federation takedown. Or the common question is, what does pepper spray truly taste like? Some of you may know. I distinctly remember standing duty at the front door one day early on, the door we used to have anyways, and this vehicle approached, and again, my preconceived notion, because it was still early on in my, my venture with you guys, this vehicle approached and pulled up the sidewalk, a Cadillac Escalade, all blinked out, rims, dark wheels, etc. And out comes a male, dreadlocks down past his shoulders, walking very intently towards me. And I thought my preconceived notion was coming to belief right here in front of my eyes. And he walked right up to me and he said, do you know of the tensions that are going on with the police in the South right now? And I said, yes, I do. And he said, thank you for being here to take care of my children. Thank you for being here. <laughs> and to that parent, Little they know that he's the one I need to thank. Because I not only got the privilege of taking care of his daughter last year, his son this year, and some of his children to come, but I got the pleasure of being the overwatch for you guys and taking care of your back while you're doing what you need to do and get your studies done. Thank you for that. I'd like to relay how all the staff and parents were as thoughtful and grateful as welcoming as that one parent. However, I can't win them all over, right, Quinny Quinn? <laughs> In all seriousness, I get uplifted from you guys every single day. And I don't have too much more, Mr. McVicker, I'm sorry. My journey soon had what seemed to be rotating best friends, whether it be the first time Jack lent out his gear during prom, or the ducking and hiding in what used to be the security office while talking about life's problems quite openly, but yet in confidence. I got to meet lots of friends, and many of you are sitting in the crowd in the chairs right now. Like, no, not you. <laughs> you, yes, you. Sometimes. It depends what period it is, but yes. In all seriousness, I, I like all of you guys, and I, I consider all you guys my friends. So I ask you take your handcuff key, unlock your potential and your future. Many of you know what that handcuff key is about, because you borrowed it to get out of my handcuffs. <laughs> Furthermore, what I found within our walls and the halls was shocking, to say the least. Parents, I know what you're thinking. Clothes all over the floor. Inability to make their own bed. Load what in the what? Don't dishes stack upon the, on the counter? Or in the sink, or the perpetual rolling of the eyes as they watch the flamingos flying overhead and we've got some darn good eye rollers in this crowd. <laughs> you parents do know that, though. Even though I just pointed out some of their minor fault flaws, I'd like you parents to know that I did indeed see many of them put on deodorants before school at the trunks of their cars. That helped a lot, 
I can't attest to the brushing of the teeth, though. But what I can tell you is that several of them, at many times, came up and asked me for a breath mint or gum. I'm not sure if it was for them or for me. But nonetheless, I gave them something to help that freshness happen. <laughs> to those who initiated hellos with me in the beginning, thank you for helping break down my cop wall. Thank you for bringing in my, thank, thank you for coming into my personal space and taking my bubble away. It was really uncomfortable, but I soon got to know that you guys really weren't going to stab me in the back. <laughs> Some of you. By face, I, know, I, I was getting to know many of you, and the days continued. I remember a group of three who came up to me early on and said that I will only remember the loudest one. I did indeed remember the loudest one first. It was hard not to. But none of you have forgotten. You're not overlooked. You just flew under the radar a little bit more than others. I pray that each and every one of you will find the strength to make yourself be seen and be heard in your space. I pray that your difference will be felt, even if just by one. When I got into law enforcement, I came with the illusion that I was going to go out there and I was going to arrest bad guys and drive really fast and turn on pretty, pretty blue and red lights and do kind of whatever I wanted to do, but as long as I was doing the right thing, I was going to catch every single person doing every single bad thing. That's what I thought I was going to do in law enforcement. But I, tr I truly found out that if I make the difference in just one person's life, that I'm doing a better job out there. And so I challenge you guys. I challenge you seniors to strive for something bigger. Ask, I ask of you right now to put others first. Even on this day, your day, this grand day, is how can you make somebody else sitting next to you, sitting behind you, sitting in front of you, make them feel welcome, make them feel like they belong here with you because you guys are making a change even if it's just one person at a time. Much like when I'm buying donuts in uniform, don't hide in shadows any longer. Don't live with excuses of what ifs. Don't live with, I would have had done this and I should have done that. Just do it. Own what you do. Own what you do now, whether it turns out to be a learning opportunity or it turns out to be something amazing. As I sat on that coast with the waves, and my own thoughts about your mon monumental day, I was amazed to think that even though each and every one of us is different in our own unique way, we came together today for one reason. Even though each and every one of us is insecure about something, even though each and every one of us struggles with something, and each and every one of us has our own life's problems, though each of us fight for our individual beliefs, we have come today together as one just like each individual wave makes up the big ocean as a whole. I'm amazed at the power of this. No more, no less. We, you, all of them, have come together in solidarity for one thing, despite each and every one of us being an individual. We have come together today as one to agree to celebrate your accomplishment. To all my homies who created a homeless camp in the back of the school, To those who violated my car with saran wrap. Sorry, Sheriff. To those who feel like they were not seen or heard. To those who enjoyed my red vines, my blow pops. How could nobody like a blow pop? It's just so weird. Or just stop by to say, oh, hi, Mark. This is your day, this is your accomplishment, and this is your celebration. To Olympic High School graduating class of 2018, your success is only limited by the work that you're willing to put in. From here on out, you can wait for the world to give you something like your own YouTube channel. However, as you sit and wait for someone or something to give you something, life will run you over and it will run you down. It will not be easy from here on out. Your easiest years are behind you, and now the true work begins. Do not strive for outward approval. Do not expect less of yourself. You'll have to be, find a way to be comfortable within yourself. Don't let anybody treat you less than what you deserve to be treated like. And stand up for what is right and what is wrong. 
even if, even if it's not the accepted thing to do. To the Olympic High School graduating class of 2018, it's been my pleasure to be your sheepdog. I consider you my friends, you're part of my journey and you're part of my life. As we see each other in the future, continue to say, oh, hi, <laughs> or hello, continue to smile, continue to laugh, and continue to wave with all five fingers, please. Yeah, it's done, more than you know. Congratulations, seniors, you have done it. Now in closing, our band, Mr. Williams, playable uh, Don't Stop Believing by Journey. No. Sorry, I didn't actually set that up. But I want to say thank you and congratulations.